What's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, Chris Record here with another episode of the 90 Day Ecom Challenge. And today I'm coming to you from the boardroom here at Techademics headquarters. We are grinding away, making amazing things happen. And today I want to talk to you about how to find top ecom stores and how to be able to sort of reverse engineer and find their top products and get ideas and find niches and find passions and find hot products and really how to look at the overall structure of that top stores that are crushing out millions of dollars, what they are using and how to model after that. So what I wanna do is uh, jump right over if we will. And I wanna jump over and actually kinda go through and, and walk through this with you, okay? So with that being said, I wanna jump over to the 90 Day Challenge group right now and some of you might have questions. We are, gonna, we are going live, so some of you are gonna be able to jump right in here right now. It looks like we are already live. And what I'll do is I'll keep this up um, for people to be able to ask questions while we go, okay? So um, we'll leave this up and I'll be able to come back in here. If you have questions along this training, just go ahead and let me know. Okay, so first things first, um, I put a URL in the description of that video right there. Let's see, actually, if we could find it. It's right here. The URL is topecomstores.com. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to click that link, Top Ecom Stores. It'll bring you to this page right here. You scroll down a little ways and it'll show you a lot of stores here. Okay, so this is Top Ecom Stores. It'll show you essentially a ton of Shopify stores, uh, a lot of the top stores ranked on traffic, ranked on popularity, and I'm gonna show you kind of what to do with each of those, okay? So um, so go ahead, and go, go ahead and click on that if you will. In fact, I'm gonna go back and, uh, and chat with you guys for a little bit minute while you guys jump on board. So go ahead and click on that link. Um, and open that up and start browsing through that list because when you browse through that list, you're gonna notice um, a lot of like kind of big selling, big looking uh, stores, stuff like that. And um, you're gonna see kind of a lot of ideas, you're gonna see a lot of cool stuff and I'm gonna show you some cool things that you can do. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to kind of reverse engineer and stuff like that. So just kind of browse through there, browse that list. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through it with you but I want you to pull it up in the background if you can. Browse that list, you can hear me talking in the background and then you can also watch my screen to kind of see what I do, okay? So let's go back to it really quickly here, all right. So as you can see, here we are on this top selling list. Um, and you can always take a site like, um, like this one here, like gymshark.com, it's number four. So you can go ahead and click on that. Uh, in our case, you won't be able to see it, so let me just type it in, um, gymshark.com. Okay, so you can go ahead and click on a site like Gymshark. And it is a Shopify store and it's big. So the first thing is, look at the value proposition. Look at how um, look at how valuable it looks. It looks like a very big website. It looks like a big store. It's uh, fitness related. They got their logo here, men's, women's, and accessories. Um, and then they've got their collections. It looks like a lot of clothing. Uh, they got an email list right here. And they wanna get your birthday so they can give you birthday um, discounts and stuff like that. They've got their Instagram where you can tag them when you're wearing outfits. So they're building a brand here, right? And they're really focusing on like the women's, like the yoga pants style for women's, right? The flexible clothing for women. So you can go in here and you can start looking at it. Men's, women's, accessories. So you can click on this, you go to women's, and see they got a really nice graphic, they got a lot of fit women wearing their stuff, and you can go into any one of these, go into leggings or whatever it might be, and you can start looking at their products, okay? So you can kind of see what they're doing. Now in this case, they might have all of this in stock. They may not be drop shipping but it's still worth modeling because they look and feel like a big site. Now, when you're on these big sites, one of the first things that I want you to do is anytime they have this sort by feature, okay? Anytime they have this sort by feature, I want you to look at this. You know, they have sort by the newest products they have, prices high to low, prices low to high, sort by popular and sort by best sellers. Popular and best sellers is where you're gonna wanna start. You're gonna wanna start sorting by, let's say best sellers, okay? And now it's gonna pull up these best sellers, okay? It's gonna pull up the best sellers in the category of women's bottoms and leggings. Now, you can go over here to all products, and let's go on their whole entire site, and, um, and you can go to all products, you could even just erase the women's if you want. Just go to all products together, all products. Okay, not men, not women, not filtered anyway, just straight up shop all products. And then you can go to uh, sort by best sellers, and now what you have is you have uh, a list of their best-selling products that they are selling on their site, which may include some men's stuff in here. See, it's including some men's bottoms, some men's shirts. It's not just women's, it's all stuff. It's even including this little, this little water bottle right here, the Gymshark water bottle. You start to get an idea for stuff that they're selling. Gift cards, they're selling gift cards here. 
um, like just tons of cool stuff. So this is a model that you can you can often find on people's sites if they have it searched. Now, if they don't have this visible, it still might be turned on for some sites. If you look at the URL, all Shopify sites kind of follow the same kind of URL structure. You have the domain name, okay? They've mapped the domain name, um, gymshark.com, but they probably started as like gymshark.myshopify.com, okay? In fact, we could even try it really quick. Dot, that's how a lot of sites, that might not be their username, but let's say gymshark.myshopify, I don't know, it didn't work. Um, but that's how a lot of that's how a lot of them are going to um, are going to start. We'll see really quick uh, in the in the source code. I'll be able to see really quick. Or it looks like I don't know. Maybe it's just not even loading. My internet doesn't seem to be loading. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, um, oh, that was a Gymshark USA. <clears throat> so, real quick, watch. So Gymshark USA dot myshopify dot com was their original was their original URLs. So Gymshark dot my us gymsharkusa.myshopify.com i don't know why it's not pulling up right now okay there it is gymshark see how that worked gymshark gymsharkusa.myshopify.com forwards to their domain name so it all starts as a my shopify store okay that's where it starts now after they map a domain name it's going to be their domain name so the first part of the url is either your username.myshopify.com or the domain name after you get the first part of the url there's a slash then it goes into their collections. Collections are groups of products that they may have. So it'll be collections. So no matter what your domain name is, you can see people's collections. Now the next collection they have is all products. This is all products, okay? These are like basically all the products, whether it's women's clothing, men's clothing, hoodies, jackets, you name it. They might be selling shirts, phone cases, socks, tank tops, whatever it is, these are each different categories. So if you look at the collections button right here, it'll say collections, all products. These are all their products. But if you look at, click on hoodies and jackets, now you got collections slash hoodies and jackets. Now this is actually just a collection of hoodies and jackets on Shopify, but it follows the same structure. Inside of their site, they have all of these different collections. Okay, so if you go to the domain name.com slash collections, you're able to go to almost any Shopify store and see all the collections that they've put together. In this case, you can see how many items there are. Okay, so you know all products, they have 435 items right here. So all you do is you go to the domain name.com slash collection. So I'm showing you the URL structure, okay? After the word collections is gonna be the name of the collection. In this case, all products, okay? That's a universal name. All products just generally stands for all products on their site. Now, after that, there's this other piece of code that says sort by best selling, okay? Sort by best selling. What this is, is this is a feature. This is a sorting feature. Sort by high to low, you know, price descending. Sort by low to high, price ascending, sort by popular. It'll say sort by manual, or it could say sort by best sellers, and it'll say sort by best selling. So this gives you an idea of the different ways that you can sort a site. So once you have this information, you can generally come in here and swap out the domain name. Now, it doesn't work on all sites. But on many, many, many sites it will, like on probably like at least like half the sites you try this on. So all you do is you swap out this domain name and go. So do this, as a, uh, do this for yourself. Go to gymshark.com as a website. Just go straight to gymshark.com, okay? And then type in slash collections and just see what happens, okay? Slash collections. And there it is. It puts you into the collections. Then click on all products. And then it puts you into all products. And then go over to sort by best sellers. Okay? Now, once you have this, this link, you can copy this link and then you can save it. Because now, when you come across other sites that you want to, you just put it in a notepad or something. When you come across other sites that you want to, you know, look into, just replace Gymshark with their domain name. So let's go back to this, uh, let's go back to this post and let's see. Go to, when you go to topecomstores.com, it will open up a list of these top e-com stores. So now you can start to go through them, okay? Um, mvmtwatches.com, okay? So mvmtwatches.com. Okay, they're obviously in the watch niche, okay? So here's their site. You can look at it. They got a banner up on top. They've got men's, women's, Instagram, a blog. They've got more, kind of some cool stuff. Men's watches, women's watches. Lots of really cool sun, sunglasses. So you can start to see a lot about them, right? So 
sometimes you can go in here and you can just type in collections, okay? And what it'll do is it'll bring up, sometimes it won't bring up anything, sometimes it won't bring up any collections, sometimes it will. Now, go to Shop Men's Best Sellers, okay? And there it is, collections slash best sellers, okay? Now let me try it again, I'm not sure why I didn't bring up collections the first time, so let me see. MVT watches slash collections, oh, maybe you have to put a slash afterwards. No, I don't know why it's not pulling it up. A lot of times it does, but it doesn't matter because once you click on a collection, you'll be able to see it. I guess in this case they have to have they don't have a page set up just for their individual collection. So sorry about that. But that's how this is organized. Right now they have their best sellers. So just like that, I was able to go in here and find their best sellers. Now, try this, okay? You want to be able to try this on your own. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute. Why is before we go any further, let's talk about why is this important? Why is it important to be able to um, to be able to go in here and do this, you know? It's because it's you're, you want to basically see what other people are doing. You want to see what are their best sellers, what are their products, what are the things that they're selling, what is hot, what is popular, what is trending. These are sites that are organized based on traffic. So when you go to these top e-com stores, they're organized based on traffic. You want to now see of these sites that are doing very well, what are some of their popular products? How do you kind of reverse engineer? And you do this by going on the site and going through some of their collections and if they have a best sellers category, do it. Now, a lot of time you can just copy that URL and, and, and change the domain name um, and it could work. About half the time it works and you'll see that. As we start going through this, you'll see that a lot, okay? So let's go through and let's look at some more really quick. Okay, you got Fashion Nova, you got Phone BB. You guys have seen me use Phone BB in a lot of examples. Gymshark, MBT Watches, Kylie Cosmetics, that's probably uh, the Kardashian girl. You know, Birds, Kiss, City Social, um, Yeezys, you know, Shoes, um, Pop Sockets. Uh, and so you can kind of look through a lot of these. And look, even Radio Shack, how, how crazy is that using, uh, using um, Shopify? Sister Jane. So you can kind of go through here and let's look at, <clears throat> go in and look at some examples of sites in here and go through and kind of see like what are some examples that you might be able to learn from you know and go several pages in because these are some of the big sellers so go like six pages in and start looking at this kind of stuff okay like wigs okay and you might go okay that might be good wigs um, and get ideas from it so like let's even look over here on aliexpress and just search for wigs and a lot of you maybe weren't thinking of wigs and look at this they got tons and tons and tons of wigs okay so now you can start to look at these sites and kind of start to reverse engineer from them. Okay, vape, Vapor Authority, right? Planet of the Vapes. So you might go, okay, vapes might be a good business, you know, um, to get into. Okay, so you can start looking at a lot of these and go through these, you know. Clothing sites, recipe sites, um, all kinds of stuff, you know. So go through and there's, there's a lot of um, value in here. You can kind of go through, when you have some time, like, while, while your family's watching a movie or something like that, pull up on your laptop and just, and just jump through and like just kind of kick it on a couch and go through some of this stuff. What you're looking for is you're not looking for a traditional retailer. You're looking for somebody who's niche specific, who you can get in here and you can kind of learn a lot from, okay? So it doesn't matter. Like let's just choose one, rebelgirls.co. It really doesn't matter which one it is, rebelgirls.co. I haven't had a chance to look at all these, but you can basically kind of look and see the themes that they're using, okay? So here's a Shopify store. They're getting really creative with it. Okay, it doesn't look like a Shopify store. So right off the bat, by looking at this, your mind can expand and you could say, wow, you can really have a lot of creative freedom in the design of a Shopify store. This one's really well designed. Okay, look at this. They're doing, they're doing a great job with design. They're selling this, this book. Um, they probably have a lot of traffic. It's probably pretty, pretty, create, uh, pretty creative. They're selling packages of books. They got a good Instagram. Uh, pictures, stuff like that. So you could, what I would learn right off the bat is branding. When the time is right, this brand right here, Rebel Girls, could build up and could sell this as a brand to somebody, okay? So that's, I, I would look at this and I would say, okay, there's a lot I could learn from branding from this. So as I'm going through, wow, there's, there's a good one, branding. And you just kind of go through a lot of these, dropdead.co. Who knows what these are? Hopefully I don't pull up anything you guys don't, that, that's not family friendly. Um, dropdead.co. And you kind of see what, what they're doing and what they're doing with their site. So here we got some cool fashion. It looks like fashion. Okay, you got guys, girls. So they got like it's a cool fashion co uh, company. Jumpers, hoodies, outerwear. Okay, so it's like they're really big on clothing. So they got this nice clothing company. You kind of see how it's all organized, right? So you can kind of learn from this. Clothing is going to be a little bit harder to drop ship. 
So what I would do is I would avoid, when you go through, I would avoid clothing, okay? What I, I don't know what I'll do, emazinglights.com. But you're gonna go through here, and you don't have to type in the, the like I'm doing, emazinglights.com. You don't have to type them in. It's just opening up in a new tab when I do it so you can't see it. Look at the, um, look at the branding of this, right? Look at the branding. Look at how well this is. A nice um, pop-up, nice email capture. It looks really clear. Look at, look at the way that this is lighting. Look at the lighting that they have here. All this stuff is clean. Okay, they got their best sellers, their glove sets. So you come right in here, their best sellers, and look what they're doing here. They got these really cool gloves that they're selling. So look at these, these light up gloves, right? So you can kind of look at those. You can go over to AliExpress and see. AliExpress, go and look at what kind of like light up stuff they have. So let's see like light up gloves and see if they have anything like that. Look at this, just almost exactly like they're selling on that site, they have light up gloves. But see the difference? Look at how boring this picture is. See how, see how boring this is? This picture is really boring. Versus look at the way that they have these pictures, right? So if you're selling light up gloves, you might wanna take the time to pay someone on Fiverr or Upwork to do some sort of really cool thing. Say, say basically show them like this kind of stuff. See, they got it when you mouse over, but see how much cooler this looks than a boring, like look at these images really quick and then look at what they look like here. Look at what they look like here. Super boring. So that is the power of selling, right? These people are doing a great job by increasing the value of their sell. And that's what you can learn from. You can learn from this and go, okay, it, then you can really go, okay, this could be an interesting niche, right? They've got these glove sets, all these different premium glove sets. They've got these lights, these battery uh, lights you could do, flow arts, these glow sticks and things you can use, gear, all kinds of light up gear. And, and, and the thing is, is they can probably have a whole bunch of this stuff here on, um, on AliExpress. And so what you could do is you can go through and look at some of these sellers, go through and click on some of the sellers and see. Maybe you can find a seller that has a whole bunch of stuff, you know, party supplies, uh, festival lights, home party decorations. And there's probably a great way to be able to uh, find that, a great way to be able to find that, right? So you can go in and look at this. Now, here's the thing. You can model after a site like this, but this is the number one leader in in gloving and light shows. So this is the number one leader in the world. So the whole point is you're modeling after a top site, right? You're modeling after a top site that does very, very well, probably millions of dollars in revenue. Okay, they probably do millions and millions of revenue with their own brands. But you want to reverse engineer. You want to be able to take a look and go, okay, you don't need to make whatever they make, you know, tens of millions of dollars, but you can, you'd be happy probably with thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars. So what you could do is you can learn from the modeling. It's not hard to take these images and have somebody on Fiverr or Upwork design you some images like this. So instead of having this on your site, instead of having these little images here that look boring, okay, you have them create your own images like this, really cool glowing ones. Or, you know what, order some yourself, turn off the lights in your house and make a cool little video of yourself doing it. Make a whole bunch of videos. Put them on YouTube and show how you're able to do tricks or get a friend Maybe you know a friend that's really into raving or really into dancing or something like that and say, hey, maybe, maybe a really cute girl or something or somebody that looks you know, easy on the eyes, male or female that's easy on the eyes. You know what you do is you have them say, hey, could you do some dancing with this? Or give them a hula hoop and say, hey, can you hula hoop with this LED hula hoop? And then you go over here to, and you find like LED, type in LED and look at all this kind of stuff. Look at all these LED light stuff that they could have. There's so much stuff that can light up. LED blank, LED shoes, you know, so now you can basically have somebody do some dancing with some LED shoes, right? Look at this stuff. They got shoes that light up and you could have a whole entire light store. So the point is, is that by, by knowing the popular sites, we're going and taking sites that are doing millions of dollars in sales and we're able to reverse engineer, model after them with your own site. You give yourself the look and feel of a multi-million dollar company while at the same time, all you're doing is drop shipping products from China or you're making Eventually, you might be pre-ordering, um, you know, bulk ordering and shipping from the United States to get to them. But this is powerful. This right here is a replicatable model. What they're doing is they're using images to sell more than anything. But again, that's probably their own brand. They're probably killing the game with that. So this is what I'm talking about. So you go through and you go through um, all this kind of stuff. So you can really have a lot of fun. There's a lot of searching that you can do. There's a ton of stuff you can do in here. So you can do part of their website name or part of their, um, any kind of name right there. So whatever it might be, you know, you can search for like a word like canvas. You can search, search a word like print. You can search a word like shirt. You can shirt all, uh, do all kinds of stuff. So right here, I just typed in the word canvas 
Now I've got canvashomestore.com, the Canvas Works, Canvas Arts Rocks, and Tier Canvas. See all these? Canvas Junction. So maybe you want to sell print on demand canvases, right? So you just can basically um, start looking at these sites and start looking at how they look. Okay, so switching over here, you might want to sell print on demand canvases. Okay? And there's companies like Printful, Interest Print. If you've watched our print on demand, there's a lot of them. And notice how they're selling it. They're basically selling through a beautiful looking picture like this of some modern art. And then they've got the five panel canvas or the four panel canvas be behind it. So what they're doing is they're taking an image and printing it across several panels and they're putting it with a nice backdrop. This is something that you can do. Okay, this is definitely something that you can do. And you might be looking on the internet for photos, but you know what? The reality is you can actually have, um, you can actually have a, uh, uh, somebody on Fiverr be making you photos like this for five bucks. And you can basically find like a really clean stock image of just some rooms and then basically um, just put the paintings behind them or even find images like this, stock art with paintings behind it and swap out the image. Go to the designer and say, instead of a cheetah or a leopard or bicycle motorcyclers on this, um, can you make one like this for me? But instead of motorcyclers, can you do it with this image? And so now you see what like a, a canvas shop can look like. You could have a whole store niched out for canvases or a category on your store niched out for canvases. And you can go through and look at a lot of these, you know, look at the different styles. These are all Shopify stores, you know, canvas freaks and stuff like that. So that's what you're looking for, right? So let's go canvas freaks. And you just kind of keep looking. You, on your site, you'll be able to just click those and open them. But you can see these are all Shopify stores, so you can learn. These are all stores you can model after with no coding whatsoever. You can have your own. See, I don't know if you guys are resonating yet, but you can have a store like this that has all of these canvases and you don't have any inventory. You have no inventory whatsoever. All it is, is print on demand. You're uploading an image to canvases. It's print on demand. You know, there's so many companies that you can use. Like this one right here, um, Interest Print. You know, Interest Print has, look at all these different things that you can do. There's tons of different stuff. Like you go down here, Wall Art and Canvas Print. And look at this, you can go in and you can, um, you can literally go in and, and choose different canvas print sizes. Okay, 100% canvas, 100% canvas. Look at all these, right? So this is just an example. There's so, many, there's so many examples of what you can do, right? And there's companies that connect right with Shopify, like Printful, okay? So you can come here and look at us, T-shirts, sweatshirts. They'll print your custom design on all kinds of stuff. Canvases, see, they'll do canvases for you, okay? So you can go in here and you can literally go in and, and print your, print your um, designs or whatever just onto a canvas, just like this. So what you're doing is you're coming up with niche ideas and just uploading the image and you can instantly put it on a whole bunch of stuff, okay? This is the power. So what you wanna do is you wanna go in here. Now, maybe canvases isn't your, isn't your niche, right? So now maybe instead of the word canvas, maybe you're in the pit bull niche. So you just type in pit bull, okay? And this gives you the ability to be able to, you know, look at different sites like pitbullgear.com, loving your pit bulls, pit bull store, pit bull clothing, pit bull mansion, my pit bull shop. So you can look at a lot of these, okay? And, and see what they're doing. Like let's go to pitbull gear.com and you can do it for almost every breed of dogs and you get to see an example of what a good selling site looks like okay look at this they got all the different categories uh, men's women's leashes harnesses collars um, they've got print on demand hoodies for dogs um, you know you click on this and they got all kinds of cool stuff that you can have and they have all these like you could just literally choose one and choose a saying look at all these sayings right here they got it nice right nice cool idea Okay, look at all this kind of stuff. Harnesses. They sell all these different types of harnesses. And now you can go over to AliExpress. If you have a Pitbull shop, you go over to AliExpress and do Pitbull. And look at all this Pitbull stuff they have, right? They've got all kinds of Pitbull stuff. They've got a, like, a nice like little Pitbull ring right there. That would be a good seller, Pitbull ring. They've got um, a ta like a light on here. Um, retractable leash with light. Look at these. got spiked dog collars. And you can do that. You could do like... Type in Pitbull and then space and look, Pitbull necklaces, rings, stickers, t-shirts, jewelry, dogs, phone cases, bracelets. Um, you know, and you can basically do like, you can also search any kind of word. Like you can do, maybe you wanna do collars, right? Pitbull collars. And you just type in Pitbull collars, just like this, okay? And you can start to, you look at this, this is inexpensive. These things are, you know, a few bucks 
for a few bucks and you can mark them up to 10 bucks or you can give away free plus shipping. These literally could qualify for free plus shipping offers, spiked dog collars. So there's a lot you can do here. You can model after these sites and look. So what I encourage you to do is I encourage you to go, uh, go to this link. Let's do it once more from the beginning. Go to this link, topecomstores.com. Go in here and type in whatever niche you're in, nurse or nursing or whatever niche you're in and go through and, and look at these different things, you know, like look at the different things like uh, awesomenurses.com, uh, patriot, thepatriotnurse.com. You guys got it, like thepatriotnurse.com. And you go in here and you start reverse engineering these sites, okay? And start looking at all kinds of things that people are doing, okay? You kind of look. Well, that might not be the best example, actually, that one. Let's try NurseFX. Boom. And you just start learning. Okay, their site's down, or I spelled it wrong, or something like that. NurseFX.com. Let's go Nurse Home Supplies. Nurse Home Supplies.com. And you just kind of go through. Oh, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm doing a bad job here. Um, let's type in a better word like nursing. But you guys get you guys get the point, right? I'm live, so and I'm just freestyling. So <clears throat> nursing, Nirvana stuff. How about um, let's do like let's do like the word phone for like the phone niche, phone cases, all kinds of phone stuff. Okay, headphone zone, magnetphonecable.com. So look at that, magnetphonecable.com. And like, look at this product right here. So here's a, here's a great example. I sh I've shown this product already twice during the 90 day challenge. And look what, look what these guys did. These guys basically said, hey, this is such a hot selling product. They're willing to pay an entire Shopify fee of, of $79 per month just for this one product, just to basically lock it up. Original magnet, magnetic phone cable, right? Magnet phone cable. And, and let's see, magnet phone cable. Maybe it's an SEO play. Maybe they're trying to optimize for it, you know? So look at this right here, magnet phone cable. When you, when you type it in, it's literally right here. It's, it's, this is the, these right here are paid advertising. So then you have magnet phone cable, magnet phone cable. See, so they're number one for that term magnet phone cable, okay? And then if you go magnetic phone cable, um, <clears throat> they're right here, magnet phone cable, magnet phone cable. So this is them as well. Okay, so look at this. They what they did was they did an SEO play. So they, what they did was they literally built an entire store just off of uh, the focus on this one product, right? So that's a kind of a cool idea. It's kind of a cool concept. It's something that some of you might want to might want to consider as well. If you if you can ever come in, what they did was they said, you know what, we're going to drive SEO. And look at that. They've got a nice big easy theme focused right there on the product. Really simple. Really easy. Uh, and look at how simple that is, okay? You go to their catalog, it's just the one product. They're putting all the focus around the one product, right? Original magnetic phone cable. This is a cool idea. If you have a top seller, you could take your top seller and branch it out and run massive campaigns for this. And you could build an entire pixel just for this entire campaign. And they could sell this. And all they gotta do is order stock of this. Since they have one product, <clears throat> they probably ordered you know th tens of thousands of units of this and they're just shipping it, probably shipping it out themselves. You guys can always try by adding it to cart and purchasing yourself. One thing you could always do is learn from others. If you ever want to reverse engineer the competition, go ahead and spend 10 bucks and order it for yourself, okay? So this is what you can learn from just off what I did right there, okay? So hopefully you guys uh, take advantage of this. Hopefully you guys jump in here and learn from this. All you got to do is go to Top Ecom Stores <clears throat> and run with that, okay? Top Ecom Stores. And there you go. Hold on, let me turn this off. So that was the training I wanted to give you guys today. We don't need to spend a whole lot of time. The training I wanted to give you guys today is simple, is learn to reverse engineer top stores out there, okay? And then build your own brands. You can, if you have a print on demand, if you model after a print on demand one, then you might wanna use a site like Gearbubble or Viral Style or um, um, Printful or any of these sites I just said. If you're modeling after a store like that, LED lights company, then you might want to jump in and type in LED lights or rave or type in stuff like that and find light up shoes, light up watches, light up jewelry, light up necklaces, light up everything and film a whole store. If you don't want to do a niche store, then just start it out as categories on your general store and go from there. Okay. So we wanted today's uh, training to be direct, straight to the point, get you guys as much value as possible. We come out here every single day to serve our community. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I look forward to catching you on the next episode of the 90 Day Ecom Challenge.